Telford, UK. Gamers from around the globe set up shop at the UK's biggest gaming festival, Insomnia. They're ringing along their own PCs and consoles for four days of competitive and social gaming. The iSeries, now in its 47th occurrence, is a 24-hour event, so players are ready to play on through until the early hours of the morning. Many are veteran iSeries attendees who came along for the same thing. Um, it's like my seventh as well. I just love the tournament. The game is the best part for me. Also meeting up with like your gaming friends as well. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. Brilliant. Yeah. It's about my tenth time that I've been. Um, it's a regular excursion for us. We come to across as a, as a plan to mostly a November line to the moment. So yeah, it's a, it's a big get together for us. It's good fun. Oh, I think this has probably been my 10th, 12th land. I'll be coming to some of since I'm 36. Um, I love that for the atmosphere. It's a really good community spirit. You get the top teams, you get the community teams, and everyone seems to have fun. Have fun. I think that's the best thing about Insomnia. It's not catered for the pro gamer or the casual gamer. It's a bit of value for everyone. And yeah, that's the say. It's, it's my third land, and you know I've, I've been playing with the same guys for years. And it's just it's more of a social thing as well. You know, you come just to, to meet people that you've played with for years and years. And it's just it's just a nice atmosphere, like it says. With plenty of PCs showing off what they've got as well as each gamer having their own tactics to survive the night. Drink that, I've already started, it's only five, but just drink all night until you pass out. Uh, probably a lot more drink. I might get a fire going and sit around that for a while. Um, get something to eat. Yeah. A lot of people don't eat at LAN and they start drinking and that's when the problems occur. So many people just stack energy drinks. Like, there's just if you just look at people's desks, there's just energy drink cans everywhere, kind of thing. You know, Haribo. they they you know that's, they um, like to sell a lot of kick here. Uh, people buy loads of it. And drink loads of it so it's red bull as well, really. Craig Fletcher, the big cheese at Multiplay, gave us his lowdown on the show. OK, so Insomnia is basically, at the core, a big LAN party. So that's thousands of PCs all hooked up to the same network playing multiplayer games for the weekend. But it's a lot more than that. You've got a main exhibition hall, which you can hear next door, no doubt. Um, we've got main stages, over 20 esports tournaments, tens of thousands of prize money being given away. They call us a festival. We're a festival of gaming. It's probably the easiest way. We've been called the Glastonbury of gaming before because most of the attendees camp in a big field next door. I did my first LAN party 18 years ago in 1994. Back then, it was there was no Windows. It, well, there was Windows 3.11, if you remember that. Um, it was all done through DOS, loading the drivers manually. It was a nightmare to do it. You had to be like, an IT guy to even consider doing a LAN. Um, it was Doom 2, Descent 2, and EF 2000. Those, those were, that was it. That was the, I mean, literally, if you wanted to play online, you had to dial a modem to modem or dial up to a bulletin board. Can people remember what bulletin boards were? BBSs back in the day? Because um, I actually started off running a Doom 2 league on CompuServe. Anyone remember that? That's an, that's an old school name. Um, and we organized it so people would dial up to each other and play Doom 2. And I thought, I went to this event on a US Air Force base uh, in 94 in Ban near Banbury. And, these guys, it was just 15 of us hooked up playing games for the weekend. I went, this is awesome. Why don't, we do, why don't we do that with our league? And so I did, and I booked a hotel in the Ibis in Southampton. And uh, that was it, 20 people. People drove down from Edinburgh for the first LAN party. And, uh, and it went from there. Before you knew it, we were running 50, 60, 100 players. I founded the company Multiplay uh, in 97. And then the iSeries kicked off in 99, the Insomnia series of events. So the Insomnia series has been running for like 13 years now. The iSeries didn't start out as an esports only event. We've always had tournaments from the very beginning, but about half of the people here will not enter a tournament at all. They will, they'll come with their friends to sit around, play whatever game they want to play, be it team game, single player game, or just some people I wonder why they even bring their PCs because they spend the whole time in the bar. But why not? That's, that's what they're here for. It's an opportunity for all their, the friends in online communities to meet up, socialise and have a great weekend. We even asked for his tips on how to make it through the night. Tell us, Craig. Tips for these guys? Um, I, I, in the early days, we used to go straight 48 hours, setting them up, doing all this that, and the other. Get some sleep, eat something properly, drink water, get at least six hours sleep a night. Please, you will enjoy it so much better. I mean... I, it falls on deaf ears or some of them though, you'll still get some that do literally four nights straight because they just enjoy it so much. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, good to, it's good to moderate your experience and get more out of it. Go to bed, go to bed. You get, 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 get some sleep. 
don't necessarily have to be much. I mean, we went to we went about 5 a.m. last night, and then we were up at 10. So I mean, it's like a bit more of a power nap, really. But that little bit of sleep just gives you that extra bit of energy always, boost. You always have a bit of fruit, or even a bit of whatever, orange. Whatever you stuff. do, don't spend the entire night drinking energy drinks, thinking, "Oh, I'll be fine tomorrow," because you won't be. Not at all. Just experience talking. Yeah, experience talking. Experience with my first <laughs> time talking as well. Just don't do it.